The 2011-2012 men's basketball season kicked off last Thursday with the annual Media Day in Bill Coliseum. Members of the media had lunch with head coach Craig Robinson and afterwards headed to Ralph Miller Court where they met up with several players from this year's squad. It's been a long time. It's come kind of fast, but um, got about three more weeks, so uh, we're just waiting on the opportunity. Just from, from a drill-to-drill -drill standpoint, I mean, we take every drill seriously. It, whether it's three minutes or ten minutes, we're going hard the whole three minutes or the ten minutes. I mean, we're taking everything extremely serious, and we're knowing that we're, we're, what Coach has been preaching to us, everything matters. We're taking that. We're, we're using that. Following last week's Media Day, the men's basketball program held its first annual tip-off dinner at the Multnomah Athletic Club in Portland. The event, emceed by former player Lamar Hurd, had nearly 250 guests in attendance, along with several OSU basketball greats, including Steve Johnson, Charlie Sitton, and A.C. Green. It's going to be an exciting year. This is the perfect time. We're back. We're ready. We're excited. The players are excited. The alumni is excited. The state of Oregon is excited. And the coaches especially are excited. The first practice of the season took place Friday following the tip-off dinner. The Beavers have several returning players this season, a group that scored 132 out of the team's 138 points in last year's two Pac-10 tournament games. Junior guard Jared Cunningham, the team's leading scorer from last year, is confident about the Beavers' chances for success. On the court, you know, we just like a family. Everybody wants to win, and we just ready to get the season started. Our improvement is just uh, come out every day and just want to win. You know, just play hard to the end of the game and not let a team get up on us uh, early in the game. Craig Robinson, coaching a team recruited entirely by him and his staff, is pleased with the high level of chemistry he sees in this year's squad. In order to win tough games, you have to get an A grade in chemistry. As we're starting to find out from a coaching staff perspective, this team really cares about each other. They're competitive with each other, but their focus is on winning games and not individual success.